Disney has done it again. You will not believe how much they increased the not so scary price ticket amount. It is, it's insane. A haunted clock. They have raised the price on these though. Why, is it, why do they put these giant CVS receipt tags on everything now? So now it is time to murder the Sanderson sisters. Gideon's did more than Disney did for all of this like halfway to Halloween. We are at Disney Springs. It is a new month, you know what that means? They got a new limited edition Gideon's cookie. Disney's been kind of doing some mysterious marketing. Okay, so the hype started with Disney's tweet saying, we smell an announcement coming tomorrow. Next thing you know, news outlets in Orlando were covering it. And then we had Disney Park saying this is gonna be the biggest and best halfway to Halloween celebration yet. They announced there's some like new treats. And those new treats at Disneyland were uh, a cheddar pickle corn dog. Disney World just got a different flavored Haunted Mansion push pop. Then they were reselling that Jack Skeleton popcorn bucket from a couple years ago. Then they announced there's some uh, hot cocoa bomb at the Ganachery. And they're reselling that Mickey mummy popcorn bucket from last year that nobody bought. And at the Disney Resorts, they were selling just plain cupcakes with different colored frosting on top. But they did announce that the Sanderson sisters will be on the Disney cruise line which is pretty cool and they announced not so scary is coming back and um let's see what else they have so it's uh halfway to halloween they're celebrating it so we're gonna see what offerings they have throughout disney springs all right first stop of the day you have to get your virtual return time for gideon's it's gonna be a four hour wait it's like they're doing autograph meet and greets with uh steve the owner of gideon's and then the artist who creates all the artwork for gideon's right there now the line just to meet steve goes all the way down next to the ganache see there's a protein spill or a code v that happened and now one of Disney's biggest failures of all time was the NBA experience, as you can see it went out of business. The screens are just like computers. This is bad. This, this is a terrible look. Um, this is just the, yeah, that's what's on the screen right now. Nothing projected. It's just kind of like a screensaver. That is a horrendous look. But uh, they're adding something new over here. Now, they have this like VR game. It's called Star Wars Tales from Galaxy's Edge. You can buy it. You can like play it at home. But they're going to be having kind of like a, I don't know if they're going to charge you for it or just kind of like the play the game here with a VR headset. It's gonna be coming in a couple days. I've, all, I've seen footage of it. Doesn't look super good. I think they're just like trying to use the space for something. I, that's a terrible show by just having the screens look like that. I don't know what's gonna happen to the NBA experience, but I'm excited for when this does open so I can go in there. So as you can see, they have some of the art up and then there's the logo. And everything is still blacked out, so you can't see inside. It's by MetaQuest is the company. Have you guys played this game? I just think it's odd that like the game is it is several years old and they're like showing it off. I don't know. It just feels kind of like cheap. God, I can't get over this. This is <laughs> such a bad look. But all of this skill artwork right here, it's all basketball players, and I don't think they will ever replace that. Now the final episode of Moon Knight drops this week. Let's see if they got any merchandise out. Oh, interesting display, some funky tie-dye spirit jersey, but they did get some new Doctor Strange merch in. All right, so we have a doll of American Chavez right here. And then down here, glow-in-the-dark youth shirt, $20. Over here, another glow-in-the-dark, it's a pocket tee. You're looking at $37. I like that. It says Multiverse of Madness. And then on the back, it almost looks like it's just like painted. It looks like a painting. So this is a woman shirt. We have a new Doctor Strange hat. We got $30 for that. Hoodie right here, $65 dollars for this hoodie it's pretty nice and they have some of the legend series figures i'm actually pleasantly surprised that they have merchandise okay that's a cool shirt looks like a comic book cover marvel studios presents doctor strange with long and scarlet witch that is a dope shirt and it's honestly kind of affordable $25 it still feels like some of the merchandise is like four or five months behind of when the stuff comes out but the doctor strange stuff i'm glad that came out and i really enjoy all the merch that they drop uh, we're gonna hop into the star wars galactic outpost see if there's anything new now uh, we hopped into the star wars store here we have luke and darth vader fighting but lord have mercy 40 dollars for just a baseball cap what the heck i like the design though but not for 40 dollars uh, it looks like they have drinking glasses of the same design you're looking at 35 dollars for these drinking glasses which is cheaper than the hat. And here's a new, I think it's a woman's hoodie. We're looking at $45 for this. It's kind of have a, it's like a pastel painting of Mando and Grogu. Very soft material. Really cool hoodie, but it's a girl's hoodie. They also have a little kid shirt with the same design. C-3PO, 
Little Yoda. Uh, guys, just remember when Order 66 happens, Darth Vader likes to remember it and uh, saber the moment. I think it's interesting that they haven't changed this like backdrop. This is still Rise of Skywalker. Uh, for $37, they have a woman's t-shirt. This literally hurts my head looking at it. Force 77, there is no try. Do or do not Star Wars, find your force. Just stick with one topic and put it on a shirt. Don't <laughs> overload my brain. And we're gonna hop into Disney style, see if there's anything new. Finally, months later after the movie has released, they have new merchandise for turn, turning red. Okay, so they have little slippers. You're looking at $25 for turning red slippers. And now this looks like two bowls in one. $30 for these bowls that come apart. And I have $20 for this mug. This mug is massive. It's like the size of someone's head. Then they have a long sleeve. Is this a kid's shirt, I believe? I accept all labels. You're looking at $55. This is a pretty cool design too. $37, kind of like a splattered paint Mickey. Then up here, it's like a running long sleeve shirt. You're looking at $50, but it's got subtle little silhouettes of Mickey in it. He looks pretty mad though. Why do they have like a pissed off Mickey? All right, $37, they had this like distressed, dirty looking retro shirt of Stitch. Out of this world, $45. I think this is another woman's shirt. It might be unisex. And then over here, a female hoodie, $60. And then down here, there's a baseball cut tee. You're looking at $45. Here's like a rain jacket, but on the front, it looks like um, the... <laughs> The design team is showing their true colors and how they feel about the current situation. And they just have a very mad Mickey. They have no price, but here are some inside out socks. The whole gang right there. Then they have a new jacket, like a rain jacket. It almost looks like Pixar sketches. When you go into Lamp Light Lounge, they have a bunch of like Pixar sketches. And that's what this kind of reminds me of. And on the back, it's a great day. And then you got everybody saying some little quotes. You're looking at $60 though. Now let's keep going over here. So this reminds me of the Disney Quest Pop Tart customer outfit. It says Joy right there. The Joy way down there. You're looking at $60 for this shirt. And they have the unicorn from Inside Out dress, $60. I don't know how many people would wear that this dress. I am digging this jacket. This looks straight out of the 90s. Well, here it is. Okay, let's see. On the front, Mickey, 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 and a heart. You're looking at $60. $37 for this little tank top. Now, for $80, they have overalls. The little Mickey stitched in. $80, though. Yo, all the merch is slapping today. Who's ever in charge right now? You guys are making quality merch. I do wish there was more guys merch. I feel like it's all women and children. You guys get all, like, the cool stuff, and the guys always get kind of the short end of the stick unless we want, like, Mickey golf shirt. I Four hours later, we have our return time for Gideon's. It's time to get some new cookies. So it's a new month, there's a new menu, but it's the Darling D. Monaco's? I think they're twins. Uh, let's go in and get our cookie, then we'll uh, talk about the new character. Thank you so much. Uh, they do have a new t-shirt of the mascot for Halfway to Halloween. Uh, we got a tall order today. We're gonna get limited edition cookie. Then they have a limited edition cake. And they have a bunch of new cake slices. Now these are just limited edition for today. They have the, the uh, Frank cake. And then over here, this is the new month's cake. It's gonna be a PB&J cake. I'm not the biggest fan of the cakes here, but PB&J as a cake sounds very interesting. And then they have the, it's like the red velvet cake right over there. We've gotten our goods. I'm so excited. As you know, Gideon's is one of my favorite places in the entire world to eat. Incredible service, incredible atmosphere. I love how they are elevating their business and they are working their butt off. They're more than just a cookie company. They're now a cake company. They are a clothing company. Very diverse uh, portfolio of merchandise that they have, which I think is really cool. Gideon's did more than Disney did for all of this like halfway to Halloween, which I find is hilarious because Gideon's is not owned by Disney. They're like third party. So they created a whole new character, new merchandise, special cake, uh, special trading card and let's open this stuff up. First off, this is the mascot for um, the halfway to Halloween. Love the design. So it says Barnabas, Memphis, Top Topo Little, Topa Hittles. I, so that's the name of the character. Let's read his little backstory. Barnabas, the halfway to Halloween ambassador has arrived and he has special treats just for you. Be sure to keep your eyes peeled on our social media from April 28th through May 1st to see what we've conjured up. Limited edition desserts to exclusive collectibles. You won't want to miss out on the celebration. They created all new menus, new characters. So now it is May, right? This is the new characters for this month. The Darling Demonica. So let's read the description. So 
Soaring through the air at dazzling heights, the darling Demonicos will astound you with their death-defying acts of flight. Identical twins that never agree. One loves nuts and the other loves chocolate. So this month's cookie for May is gonna be the peanut butter chocolate swirl. I believe they had this last year and it was one of my favorite cookies that they had. I'm excited to get back into it. Now they also have a limited edition cake which is now gone. It's since when you guys are watching this, it'll be past May 1st. It's like a, I believe it's like a pumpkin spice cake. I forgot to talk about this too. Uh, Gideon's is doing trading cards now. They also have a limited edition trading card. Uh, they give trading cards out in the boxes. If you buy four or more cookies, they'll give you a trading card in the box. So it kind of gives you an incentive to kind of come in and collect the trading cards, which I love, because I love all this artwork. It kind of gives like the same little backstory about the character on the back. Let's open our box since we got more than four. What trading card did we get? Huh. Interesting. So it's, we got the same guy, but it's like a different variant of him. A Little bit of a different description for him, but it's a different card. That's really cool. I think they have like 16 cards to collect right now. All right, so we got the peanut butter and chocolate cookie. Let's open it up, see the cross section. This looks so good. Oh man, it's like the ultimate Reese's cookie. They're wonderful peanut butter cookie mixed with chocolate, near perfection, 9.5, so good. All right, for lunch, I'm gonna get a quick bite to eat at one of my favorite places, the Boathouse. Now the Boathouse is always slammed, it's really hard to get a reservation, but if you come out here to the dock and the bar, it's like first come, first serve. So it's been with all, I've been waiting for my friend. The filet mignon sliders, you gotta upgrade the three cooked medium, you got the maitre d' butter on top, you, then you upcharge to the truffle fries with the lemon aioli. This is like what I would eat on my deathbed. This is the last thing I, it's so good, look at it, ready? Oh my god. It's just otherworldly with how tender and juicy and flavorful it is. It's a mess. Now again, best restaurant on property. I've eaten there almost like two dozen times. I've eaten there so many times more than any other Disney restaurant. Best food, best service, pretty affordable price. We're at the Ganachery. We're here for their big celebration. The big thing draw they have here. The Sisters Elixir Cauldron Cocoa Bomb. I always love coming in here and watching them make the chocolate. This is what we're here for. They added a little sign, a little witch hat, and it's... $14 for the little chocolate bomb. We have a major problem. We've gotten the chocolate bomb. The problem is they don't give you hot milk. I don't have any milk at home. I was like, why don't you guys have hot milk? And they're like, maybe next year. Oh, why would you serve a hot chocolate bomb without having warm milk? <laughs> Somebody did not think this through whatsoever. When you go to Universal, their trivia stores where they have the hot chocolate bombs, they have hot milk that goes with it. So now we're gonna have to also go on a mission to go get milk. And then she's like, you just microwave it in your hotel. <laughs> oh, the struggle just to get a hot chocolate. And an overly priced hot chocolate too. All right, time to go into World of Disney. Now, they accidentally released the new Magic Bands that aren't supposed to come out until last year. This morning at World of Disney, they've taken them off the shelf now, but I don't know how that slipped through the crack. Mother's Day is coming up. They have a shirt that just says Disney Mom and Happiest Mom on Earth. So nothing really special, but here we go again. I wear over by the ears. No prices, no price above. Now all of these do not have a price on them. I don't get how this is legal to have merchandise without any advertised price above it or on it. Don't, I don't understand this. Okay, then we have this one, no price, but over here, this one actually does have a price. So they range between $30 and $50, so I guess it's kind of like luck of the draw, Russian roulette with how much you pay for a pair of ears. They do have ears and they do have a price on them. The turning red ears, $30. I think these are adorable. They're like nice and squishy. Those are some great ears. They've finally gotten them in stock. They have the Muppet Swishables, and you know I gotta buy a bunch of them. All right, we got one. It's random. I didn't try to fill it out. Whatever we get is what we get. All right, so the characters that we can get, Miss Piggy, Fozzie, Gonzo and Sam the Eagle. Now my favorite Muppet is Kermit, but I feel like the one I relate to most is Gonzo. So I'm hoping for either Gonzo. Okay, I'll take it. Oh my God, he's so cute. Look at little Fozzie. He is so soft and so fuzzy. This might be like the best wishable sets they've ever made. It's like a little baby's blanket. They have raised the price on these though. Why, is it, why do they put these giant CVS receipt tags on everything now? They're $15 a piece though. Kind of pricey, but adorable. I believe we have three more to collect plus a chaser now, but we got a little positive. I do wish they had like a little pie in his hand. For $22, this is the big thing they're selling here is the popcorn bucket with Mickey. Now they sold that popcorn bucket last year and then it ended up in like the outlet and cast connections in like the bargain bin. I guess they had so many extras. It's mummy Mickey and he's, he's got a little, little fast to him. I saw this lady pushing him around in a stroller today. Oh, the void, how I miss you. Sadly, they went out of business. I think they're like trying to bring the company back, but 
Yeah. We're in the co-op right now. They have Aristocats, little tank top. $37. The Aristocats never get too much love here at the park. What does this say? This is another tank top, $37. Don't fly, don't, don't just fly, soar. That's what it says. That took a second. And they have uh, matching shorts for $37. How much good Disney merchandise right now? I feel like we get these waves of good merch and all sells out, then we're stuck with all the crap for <laughs> ever. You know what they nicknamed Chewbacca after he got knighted by the queen? They called him Moon Knight. I just asked the Lego employee, did they get the yeah, Lego Muppets minifigure mystery packs in? And they said yes. Yo, it's like the Muppet love going on right now. I'm loving it. I'm gonna buy a couple of mystery packs. We're gonna open them. It's always such a long wait getting into the Lego store. We made it in. They only allowed a certain people in at a time. We're inside the Lego store. They still have the little Grogu sculpture right here in this bassinet. This is what we're here for. The Muppets minifigure set. Oh, I cannot wait. Got our goodies. They're $5 a piece, but we do get an annual pass on the discount. All right, we're gonna go home to the office and open up this with the Muppet Lego mystery mystery packs. So we got to talk about the current price increase of all the not so scary tickets and what's actually coming. So let's go to the office. Okay, we are uh, back at home. It's now the next day I got the haircut. Follow me on Instagram. You know what happened with my haircut. Halfway through the haircut, the lady was like, oh, I got to go home. <laughs> it's like, you're halfway through the haircut. We'll see what happens when I shampoo it, but it looks interesting. Not as interesting as Iapa, but it looks interesting. Let's just say that. It's fun. It's time to make the hot chocolate. Now, the biggest problem with the hot chocolate bomb is, am I going to get demonetized for saying that word? Hopefully not. They don't have milk. So when I asked the cast member, they were like, you can just go to the gas station across the street, get the milk, or maybe find milk at a Disney resort, and then you, then you put the milk in the microwave, then you can make the hot chocolate. So, highly inefficient. I don't know if this is Dairy Queen approved, but it says heat 10 ounces of whole milk in small saucepan over medium low heat, a low simmer, removed from heat. What happens when you don't have a stove top at Disney? We're microwaving this puppy. That's what I was told. I was told to microwave it and we're doing it. Hello, Judy. All right, well, 15 seconds, the internet was wrong. We are putting this sucker up to like now while we wait for the milk to warm up, let's open our first mystery pack of the Lego Muppets. Right, who are we going to get? There's 12 different Muppets to collect. Oh! Now we got one of the ones that I wanted. So I'm just missing. Oh, look at them. That's so good. Now they come with little accessories. Not a fan of the accessory that they gave. It's like a little uh, laptop. And scooters on it. Now in the Disney Plus show, which is god awful, that Muppet show. Scooter was like the producer. It would be like sending them messages and stuff. So I feel like that's what this laptop is. So he just kind of like holds the laptop. Which I don't like the accessory, but I love the minifig. Now it comes with a little checklist of everybody that you can collect. Milk is ready let's uh make hot chocolate judy is all microwaved we got our mug because you got to take the chocolate bomb and put it in the mug and then so you need two mugs hopefully every resort has that this is what we're here for chocolate cauldron sanderson sisters cute little design i'll give them give them that all right so it comes with the cauldron and then a little stirring broomstick with a little bit of gold dust on it so now it is time to murder the sanderson sisters Oh, oh, this is going terribly. This is going terribly. What is, go oh, what is going on? Okay, well, now I have milk everywhere. There's the hot chocolate bomb. All right, let's go full on pinata mode then. See if this cracks. Oh, there we go. Whoa. Okay, there's, there's the chocolate mix. Then there's some witch goblin intestines or something coming out. Oh, they're green. Oh, it's green marshmallows. All right, let's 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 stir this puppy up. Okay, well, it looks like a colonoscopy prep clean out. Um, here's the little broomstick. They honestly, they should have done a vacuum cleaner as the stirring wand. But here it is. This is the magic. This is one of the most inconvenient Disney desserts I've ever seen. I, I think we're at like $20 right now for this um, <laughs> hot chocolate. That is the most rich hot chocolate I've ever had. Tastes like um, the little boozy bunny, the chocolate ganache that they put inside that. But as a hot chocolate, I'll do like an 8 out of 10. Convenience though, 1 out of 10. Not a fun process doing the whole thing. But taste, 8 out of 10. Let's go to the office now and talk about all the price increases that Disney has now on all their new Halloween tickets. Disney has done it again. You will not believe how much they increased the not so scary price ticket amount. It is, it's insane. So the last time not so scary happened was in 2019. Price range from $79, the most expensive $109 for the Mickey's Not So Scary Halloween Party ticket. And then they did like the Boo Bash, which was god awful. One of the worst Disney events I've ever been to in my entire life. Last year, that was just an after hours event. Not So Scary did not come back. So, the big announcement this year, right? A poison apple, a haunted clock, a 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 cl
one key. Oh, it's working! Oh, let me see. Distance. Do you know what this means? We are back. And soon you'll all be mine! <laughs> Not So Scary is coming back, and it's coming back more expensive. Price now, cheapest one is $109, and the most expensive is $199. That is a drastic increase. The average ticket price in 2019 was $96. Now the average ticket price is $143. I believe they're not even adding anything new. I'm gonna be there probably opening day for Not So Scary to uh, cover it for you guys, see if it's worth it this year, see if it's an improvement over Boo Bash. Look, I'm so happy the party's coming back. It's not happy about the prices. All my friends probably won't go because they can't afford $150 to go for a couple hours at Magic Kingdom. Before we go on to talking about more about what's going on Muppets bag, let's open this puppy up. Oh snap! Oh, this is a good one too. We got a little Bunsen right there. Now it, now we need Beaker. I'm on the hunt for Beaker now. All right. Will we have Beaker? Will we have Beaker? Oh, we got another one. We got another Bunsen, so I'm gonna be sending this Bunsen off to one of you guys on Patreon. Uh, we got two left. Come on, give me a Kermit. Give me a Kermit. That's what we want. All right, next one we got, we got, we got Ralph right there and he comes with like this little bus. Glad we only got one double though. Man, we got another double. Right, so I'm gonna be sending too many figs out to you guys. All right, so we got another Statler. There's so much going on in this video. It's like all over the place, I'm sorry. We got the limited edition, halfway to Halloween. Hey from Gideon's. Now it comes in a bag, which is interesting. I don't know. Like a candle. Oh, that smell is potent. Holy crap. Cut it to limited edition cake. It's gonna be, I believe, pumpkin spice. I had a little shot of it. I don't like this. I'm just not a fan of the Gideon's cakes, but I don't mm, I don't even like this. We'll do like a six out of 10. So I was very disappointed with Disney's halfway to Halloween, right? They were pushing this all over their social media, acting like it was gonna be this big grand thing. It was pretty lackluster. It was a half a Halloween, not a halfway to Halloween. I thought Gideon's put in so much more of an effort than Disney. I'm excited for Not So Scary to come back. I have to start planning my Halloween costume. Have some ideas. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to hit that like button. It really helps out when you guys do. And if you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. Join the family, because I'm gonna keep you up to date on all things Disney and theme park. All right, guys, I love you all. Please stay safe, and I'll see y'all very soon. Hey, no, no, no.